Jim, a series of bills called Back the Badge Initiatives recently passed the state Senate. The bills were proposed by Lieutenant Governor Casey Cagle, focusing on increasing protections for public safety officers. The bills also examined compensation and benefit packages. WALB News 10's Risa Buckles joins us live in the newsroom to explain. Risa? Catherine, in 2016, Georgia lost 10 officers while serving in the line of duty. That number is telling and it's causing a huge concern for state legislators. Lieutenant Governor Casey Cago believes those numbers are telling that law enforcement is under severe attack. Cago says these back the badge initiatives are a direct response to the growing issue. The four bills that passed the state Senate last week focus on imposing longer prison sentences for criminals convicted of aggravated assault and aggravated battery against a public safety officer. Another increases the amount of money received by a family of a fallen officer by 50 percent. The other creates a nine person local law enforcement compensation commission to review salaries and benefits. And the last one creates a special license plate inscribed with back the badge to honor Georgia officers. Back the Blue organizer Tom Garrick was thrilled by the news. I'm just super glad that I, on a state level that this is happening and uh, I uh, also understand that uh, President Trump is pretty supportive of law enforcement and our military which uh, is really good news. Tom Garrett is one of those uh, agents of change and an early supporter of the individuals that are out there putting their lives on the line each and every day. Lieutenant Governor Cagle says the four bills received an overwhelming support from the state Senate, and if the state house approves them and the governor deal signs them into law, then Cagle says we can expect to see longer prison sentences and an increase in the state indemnification funds. Those are the funds that help fallen officers, family members. Those will be effective this year. The state house is expected to vote on the back the batch initiatives within the next two weeks. We'll have more on this story coming up for you tonight at 11 live in the newsroom. Risa Buckles, WALB News 10.